time to wrangle up some cattle. What time is it? Slappy time. Slappy time. That is a mess. So we're gonna be starting first round of vaccine, vaccine vaccinating, va vaccinating calves <laughs> tomorrow. And our sorting areas have this terrible growth of weeds. We thought we'd better chase them up in here so they can graze this stuff and make it easier to walk around tomorrow. Oh, that's worse than I thought it'd be. I think we're gonna need a bulldozer to get this gate open. You got one. Brian Sonny, bulldozer. But we're gonna get all those pears, lock them up in here, so they got plenty of food and they got water right there. They'll stomp that down, eat it down, and then tomorrow we won't have to trip over this stuff as bad. There's no way they're getting it all. I got, I got stuck right there. High, got high centered on weeds. I ain't got no perlets for you, but. Right away it looked like it was gonna be a walk in the park and then it became like a run somewhere you don't wanna run so like it just became a run anywhere because running sucks. And then we had to shut every gate because everywhere we assumed they wouldn't go, they'd go. But <laughs> well, we got it done! Yay! You know why that didn't go so great right away? Because Jeff wasn't there, that's another reason. But uh, I forgot to grab a slappy for myself. So. There was one on each four wheeler. I had a slappy that yeah. whole time. Yeah. I did not use it. Yeah, I know why. I was thinking, man, I could use a slappy. I got a personal challenge to our viewers. Let's sell 500 slappies in a week. 500 whole slappies? Yeah. Let's see if Cole can find enough slappies in America to fill your orders. That's a whole buttload of slappies. Yep. Close to a crap ton. What about the Storla Station shirts? They, Because they are in. Look at me running, and mo but I'm not moving. That's a good looking man right there. You know why? Because the Storla Station shirt. It's got a little tractor right here. There have been a lot of people asking, how can we support the Storla Station store, really the number one answer is if you live close by, just buying farming supplies that you need. Or fill your car with fuel. But if you're far away, the proceeds to these shirts are going to help us keep that store running. Inventory is crazy. We just got to, it takes a lot of capital to get inventory in. The other thing nice is this is a unique look. I mean, you're going to look different than everybody else in your town of in Tennessee or Oregon. New York, Oregon. We got people in Wisconsin and Iowa. Nobody else will have this. We really appreciate all your support and if you really do want to go the extra mile, just checking out a Storla Station shirt helps us more than you know. Or so. a Slappy. That's all I got to say about that, but thank you. So you know what we're gonna be doing tomorrow? We're gonna get that hydraulic chute running, work quite a few critters. Get those fall vaccines started tomorrow morning i got therapy for my knee real quick so we'll pop back as soon as we can what do you say i bring some food back from town yeah yeah all right so stick with us we'll be working some critters here shortly looks like dad's been working strapped up today first time working cattle for me for a while sending some prayers hoping god keeps me safe today because i don't want to blow up my knee again weed hole. Uh, guess that one wants it too. Yeah. I was a little sad when I pulled up, so I had them up already and I didn't get to use my new gates. Tell me how it went. 
flawless. I know. The gates fell off. <laughs> the cows came in anyway. They're they're trained. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I as I was bringing them up the lane, it's the first time it came to me that I bet Cole wanted to video this. Dad's gonna handle the big man stuff. I'm just gonna stand here like the little boy I am. First, we gotta split them. The cows, all they're getting is poor today, which is gonna take care of lice, flies, internal worms, and ticks and stuff like that. The calves are gonna get that as well, but they're also gonna get two shots. And we like doing this early before weaning because it gets that first shot in them. And just like a lot of the COVID vaccines right now, which we're not getting in depth there, but you know, there's a booster, you get two shots, you wait about 21 days. Very similar with these calves. Wait about three, four weeks, give them that booster, get some the best protection they can against that like pneumonia, a bunch of different lung diseases, and that's what we got going on today. She blew an O-ring. Come on, let's go. Come on, you silly things. Everything sorted up pretty good, cut in half, split the calves off. You usually gotta do that, mostly because them cows, you know, they weigh about five times as much as the calves and they can squish them. So you wanna split them so they don't get squished. But next, these cows will be quick, just give them some pour, keep them on going. Calves shouldn't take too much longer, two shots and pour. There's something on my ear. Uh, cow gave me an earful. Oh yeah, it's it's uh, here and here. Nice. So the calf part's gonna get kind of frustrating because they're just small enough to where they can flip around, but big enough to where it sucks, and when they get flipped one way. You can't really can't get them flipped back the other way. So nice thing is our chute opens up real wide, so if they will just back up all the way in, we can get them just fine. Hey, 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 hey. Five twelve people, you better buy it. And he's nice and tame. What, what do they what do they say about him at the at the auction? Extra rib. Extra rib right here. Nice trot. Woo How about them gates, huh? They were good. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm, I'm hoarse from yelling at the cattle. Oh. Because I got them up out of the pasture myself and they were all strung out when you were at therapy. Uh huh. Uh huh. You know what you could have done? Waited for coal. Yeah, but look at how much I had ready to go when we got here. Yeah, but now you're tired and hoarse. So now we're going to eat early and then go over to Jeff's and grab him and his four wheeler and we're going to head out to yours. Okay. All those people saying, put it on wheels, put it on wheels. And now they're saying, just pick it up with the skid loader. Just pick it up with the skid loader. That's so we'll, I like. I like the skid loader better. So now we'll start putting it on the skid loader again. And well, then people will say, well, it's got wheels. Well, we should have put bigger wheels on it. Bigger there. wheels. Put bigger wheels on it. The lip. Oh, got it right over the lip. I blame that on somebody. Sweeping half the floor. Sorry. Next time I'll sweep zero floor? Yeah. Okay. You're pretty good at that. Don't hear that. 
that ball head squealing back there anymore. Guess you just gotta grease it once every three years, huh? You know, yesterday afternoon we chased those pears up so they could knock down all those weeds. We kind of decided we should head out west to my pears and get them done because the corral's sitting out there from when I was having that disaster a couple months ago. If we're feeling it later today, we'll come back and do those cows that we chased up yesterday afternoon. Right now, we're headed out west. I got 35 cows out there with calves and we're gonna get them up, give them their first round of shots. To, and so we got this big hole and it extends all the way into there and last time dad was using this he actually stepped down in it and hurt his leg a little bit and so that could have turned out worse so we're just trying to make sure nothing breaks a leg and just shift it over we brought a chain a little bit more oh that's good come from Jeff? I don't know. I wonder if it's good. Yeah. Give her a try. Chocolate. <laughs> People are addicted to gambling. This guy is hog sale barn auctions. We're taking a slight break working cattle because unfortunately last week we got a little bit of hail. And so we got a crop adjuster coming out. It's just two of our most north cornfields. Um, one of them's got some decently bad wind damage. Nothing compared to uh, how how they're looking in some spots of Minnesota and Iowa and I think Wisconsin. Some of them places got hit really bad. We got nothing like that, but enough to have the crop adjuster come out and see if see how bad some stuff is. So Dad's gonna take care of that. And we just got 20 to do today, 20 pairs, and that won't take too long. They're already up. It'll be some quick doings, and then we'll be more than half done working critters. Those have been laying on the floor right there. Driving me crazy for the last, I don't know how many months. This has been sitting back here for a couple weeks now. You might have noticed it in the background of a couple videos. We did finally get a draper. We won't, we won't talk about that much today because we're working cattle. We also got this thing loaded up. We got the Lancota shark tooth. Shark, shark fin, shark blade, I don't even know. Say you're getting to a headland and it's at an angle or something and you're only taking like half a header's width in, instead of it shooting all the way over there, that crop, it hits that fin and then goes right in. And then we also got this land coat of toolbox right here, which allows me to pick things up that have been laying on the floor for months. And also we got tons of stuff sitting in the cab of our combine all the time, taking up room. 
you know, sickle sections and guards. And so it's awesome getting that out of the cab. And then, you know, that's not bouncing around, hitting the window and breaking a $2,000 window. So ours is coming soon. We'll see that thing in action soon enough. Sh soon enough. A little sunny over that kind of rain. Four on the, or the window on the pickup is rolled down. Oh, I'm melting. Oh, look how dark it is over there. Oh Lord, I'm wet. Oh, yeah. what is happening? How about that crop adjuster's loving his job, standing in the middle of, of a cornfield getting rained on? I, this is just random popped up. It's pretty dark over to the east. That's a free car wash right there. We're gonna put the, we're gonna get this tractor out there. It hasn't been washed in a few months. Yeah, keep coming. We'll take it. It's gonna make some beans. If it keeps raining like that for about an hour. All clean. And we got 15 hundreds out of that deal. 16. And some bugs of some sort. I guess we'll take it. Are you scared? Are you scared? It's doing it again. It's like an ounce in each raindrop. They're huge. Should have left that tractor out. That's some of that big old fat rain. It's starting to get a little sliver of hail. That's not fun. We're just driving by admiring our beans. And now we got hail falling. It looks like we got rain for a while too. This farming, it can stress you a little. Oof, how big are them hailstones? There's more of them coming though. The cows are I headed. call them pea size, pea size too. What about soybean size? I don't know. You see them bouncing off and ugh. Now that beans went down 55 cents, we're gonna make some this year. <laughs> well, I guess if we were better marketers, we could have done better. I was reading the label on here, and it said, don't put it on a wet critter, and don't put it on a critter that's gonna get rained on within six hours. So we're not gonna work anymore, and we're just gonna set up the corral, hopefully, in the next while, whenever that lets up. But we can see about a mile and a half, two miles, and it's raining. It's getting pretty dang wet. Look at that thing. At the end, don't look at don't look at the rain gauge. Okay. Don't look at it. We'll 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 do that later. Oh, we guessing? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna guess. Are we gonna make a bet? Yes. Okay. Loser has to pull down their pants and sit in a water puddle. <laughs> <laughs> no, Loser's got to cook tonight. Did you look on the way in? No, I didn't look. Alright. Loser's got to cook tonight. Alright, so, uh... I think we have T-bones or something. Mm, there was 15 hundreds in there before we left. Did you dump it out? I did not. Okay. Alright. So my guess is... 36. Are we doing closer to the pin? Yeah. 37. Okay. See how shiny that tractor is? No. Where'd you get them vaccines from? Store, oh. Storeless Station, Storeless, South Dakota. Storeless Station? Yes. The most wonderful vaccine place in the... Midwest? Yep. All right. We're gonna get another group done. We were gonna spread out the corral for tomorrow. But so it rained, didn't do any of it. and we're not gonna whine about it. Thank you for the rain. Yep. So thanks for watching today. We'll see you next time. We're probably gonna be working cattle. Have a good one. You got poop in your ear. I know. Well, it looks like 40-ish. Well, Pa, it looks like I'm cooking. Hey. 46. We are a whole 10. I was a whole 10 off. I'm gonna drink this beer and watch you make me a T-bone. <laughs> That's all I got to say about that.